Hello and welcome back to Creepy Ass Viking Boogeyman Village, where we found a journal by old Eric, who is, I guess, the Viking equivalent of the Boogeyman. And now I guess we're gonna go to the Mead Hall because after swimming an entire lake looking for our son, I think we could use a drink. Why not? So let's see here. Uh, the symbol of the tree. Now it kind of looks like. They kind of look like the Slenderman symbol or something like that. Maybe. Let's, let's, let's open this. Okay, well, that was a bit extreme. Don't know your own strength here. That was a nice meat hall, at least. Is this a meat hall? Maybe... Eh, creak, creak, creak. Eh, maybe it's just an overly large house. Maybe. Okay, we got plenty of shields around here, so if someone comes at us with an axe, we'll be ready. We'll be super ready for them. Is this pot hot? You got any soup? No, nothing? Alright. Well, at least we got nice chandeliers. We got a bunch of bowls and pots everywhere. I mean, we can, nice, we can, we can make a nice living out here. Why not? Uh, there's a single candle burning. Ominous. Very ominous. And, of course, a whole bunch of swords and helmets and stuff. Yeah, this place is a bit creepy. But it's not terribly so yet. Yet. Of course, it's not even dark yet, so... I'll give it time. I'll give it time. It's in here. Anything? Got a, got a trencher full of soup for me? It'd be nice and hospital... hospitable of you. No? Nothing? Just, you know, the same creepy bed that I've seen about 50 billion times? Fine. I'm in credit, this is a pretty sprawling village. I don't know why this place was abandoned. And now we've got folk music playing. Which, I don't think is the right atmosphere for a horror game. Well, maybe now it is. Oh, hey, look, another journal. What we got here? Yeah, I'm gonna need text on that one. Uh, Villager Tales. Uh, Raker? Spied a glimmer from the watchtower of the night. Must be that strange Raker man lighting his lanterns again. The way he skulks around in the dark makes me grip my bow tighter. But he's the only one who keeps the paths lit and carries off the dead. He's been doing it longer than anyone can remember, though no one knows why. Hardly a Hardly a no one sees him coming either. I don't know what kind of accent that is. As he only works in the black of night. The old uns leave baskets of bread outside the fence now and then to keep him fed. Always gone the next morning unless I watch it through the night. Then it goes stale and is taken by the crows. Seems as much as I watch out for the old raker. His, his eyes yet better trained on me. Creepy. And we're gonna take all these journals, because we double as archaeologists, don't you know? Alright. So we got boats. We got giant tents. It's just a pleasant day here in old abandoned village. I don't know why people wouldn't enjoy it. And we got some, you know, statues of heroes and or gods. It's fun times. Fun times. Steroid buildings. Low buildings. We got them all. Down at Old Creepy Village Warehouse. That's what it feels like right now. And it looks like it's about 10 in the morning ish. A cold Norwegian morning. Okay. I think this is the other end of the village, so we've gone through this whole thing. Oh, wait, 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 there's something there. Something there. We found something. This is Espen's. She must have dropped it. I'm what coming, Espen. Oh, oh. You brought your snowman out here? Text? Snowman reflected. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give you a... Espen loved his reflectors. Thank you. He collected them from magazines and cereal boxes. And I bought him a couple from the gas station by our house. He'd hang them from the curtain pole at the cabin and wave his flashlight over them at night to watch them shine. 
I could hardly believe any of this was happening. But what I did know was that the reflector I found was his. What I couldn't know at the time was that he'd left me more. A trail. And as long as I stumbled across these reflectors now and then, that Espen was still alive. Okay, well, we've got hope at least. But I don't know how the hell he's leaving he just Does he have just like a satchel full of reflectors? <laughs> I, I'm surprised the guy doesn't notice when he's, you know, slapping down these reflectors everywhere. Whole bunch more rune stones. Hopefully the ward off evil spirits. And now we've got creepy creepy wooded place. Number four eighty three, I believe. Uh, so far, just beautiful scenery. I haven't had much scares yet, although the atmosphere is starting to build a little bit. Uh, whoa. Does that log look like a bunch of deers that are just kind of laughing at me? Nah, I'm just paranoid. Let's see, we got rocks. We got rocks. We got more rocks. Wait, what is that off in the distance? Is that a tree? I think that's a tree. It's kind of a weird tree, though. Whoa! Okay. Well, that same runestone again, but this time it's glowy glow. That's fun. Must be an autosave point or something. That yeah, must be what it is. Okay, we got a bridge. They can't be far ahead. Well. <laughs> We've kind of wandered through a village. I, I would guess they've got quite a bit of headway on us. But I'm no expert. I'm no tracker like you. Everyone in Norway is a professional tracker, right? Ooh, that's starting a little creepy. Something's creaking and groaning here. Okay. Well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Right? The old bastard must have pulled a bridge across. Oh, okay. We gotta too far to jump. I'll have to go down. Alright, thank you for that inner monologue. I would have just tried to jump. Yep, that was a weird weird little fall. Well, what's over here? This looks interesting. Nope, nothing. Just a bunch of oh, Hello, runestones that I can't read. What are you telling us? You got, uh, Vikings fighting. Alright, well, that's nothing new. Thought we had an archaeological discovery there, but I guess not. Alright. This is a lot brighter than I thought it would be in this old, decrepit mine. Luckily, somebody keeps a bunch of candles burning. How very nice of them. Must have to replace those candles constantly. It's also very well lit. Oh, that's Espen's flashlight. Oh, good, I got a flashlight. Good, good. And his jacket? Certainly no. looks like his jacket. Espen, please don't hurt him. Please. Don't you hurt him! Okay, they're way far ahead by now, so I can't hear you. I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. Oh, she's going full taken now. Now they're in for it. Okay, so now we're out of the cave, and we've got, uh, wow, that's, we've got his entire coat in our backpack, as you can see. We, we didn't do a very good job of packing in it, but we have a very small backpack. Don't even know what we had in that backpack before. So, let's keep it's going. It's cold without his jacket. Okay. It's enough waxing philosophical here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's stop for a second. Jacket there on the ground. I felt like something inside me broke. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He'd been taken from me. His coat, his little coat, lying in that dark place. Mm -hmm. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. Oh boy. He trusted me, and I let him down, as I had so many times before. Uh, well, this may be the same people His as the park. was a symbol of my failure. I 
promised myself I would find him and I would bring him back. Okay. I just hope that was a promise I could keep. Yeah. I've heard this whole thing a lot before from the park, and my god, they go on and on and on about how she was felt like a failure and all that kind of stuff. It was kind of clunkily written. This isn't so bad yet, but they are really trying to push it home, aren't they? Alright, I think we'll end it right there for now. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to keep gaming.